Who do you think Archie looks more like? Me or Shaw? <laughs> Package arrived. Nice. This book is called The Time Block Planner, a daily method for deep work in a distracted world. Long story short, I'm doing a business coaching or coaching kind of self-development, self self-growth self and realization. And I've been doing it for six weeks now or something. I've noticed a huge switch in my mindset, in my motivation, in my priorities and just yeah i'm just kind of growing a lot and realizing a lot which is so nice the last the last kind of session that we did where we spoke about commitments versus intentions and this is going to help me bring a bit of structure and organization to my day into my life um i'm not going to go into too much detail about the coaching right now um, I would like to give a lot more kind of insight into what coaching is once i'm kind of further through the process Anybody wants to buy some breast milk, hit me up. Good morning. Did you have a nap? Good morning. Charlotte's auntie, she made this beautiful bread, traditional Israeli bread. It's basically like brioche and it's got chocolate in it. I have my coffee. Charlotte's got her milk catcher. Happy weekend, guys. Heading to Butcher's, gonna get some nice food for the weekend. Bacon, mushrooms, eggs, black pudding, and giant sausages for dinner. And I got ribeye, and I also got this really special steak for Char. Belgian blue filet. Looking forward to cooking that up. The goods are under here. And I started cooking this at, well, I started cooking this in the morning and it's now uh, quarter to three in the afternoon. That's life with a newborn, but yeah, we're just sitting, <laughs> sitting down. Cooked up a steak dinner, peppercorn sauce, peas, and homemade fries, ribeye, filet, peppercorn sauce, chippies, and peas. It's late at night, I have a credit card in my hand. I'm about to make a commitment to myself and I'm also about to make a commitment to the vlog. I've been working on my mind a lot recently, like self-growth, that kind of thing. Whilst working on my mind, I realized, and also I, I kind of knew this, I wanna work on my fitness and get back in, in shape. I'm gonna be starting gym tomorrow. Day one of the gym starts tomorrow. I'm speaking the commitment into existence, so now I, I have to do it, I have to commit. The next morning, 6 a.m., Operation Fat Boy Slim. Beautiful morning to start Fat Boy Slim. There's no excuses. I'm gonna head to the gym straight after a little coffee. I'm gonna use that as my pre-workout. Wish me luck. Just to break myself in easy, I'm gonna go with this stuff to hydrate myself in the gym. It's super good for you or something for the gym, so yeah. I'm gonna try this out today. Another reminder why I need to learn Dutch. I just tried to get into the gym and I couldn't get in. Translated the email and you've got to reserve a slot. So I've just reserved a slot for three minutes time. <laughs> I'm waiting in the car now to go in. Um, but that almost Fat Boy Slim, almost Operation Fat Boy Slim almost ended in a disaster. Easy peeps, I can barely hold this camera up. First workout complete. Taking the first step is always the hardest part for me. I know myself that it gets easier from here. Once I make the first step, that's it done. That's it solidified in my brain. I'm pretty confident that this is going to be my new morning routine. And I can get home all before, I think all before 8 a.m. What time is it? I need to switch the car on, but I can have breakfast, coffee, and start my day on time. Nice feeling of accomplishment.
It's still pretty um, early in the morning. Charlotte and Archie are sleeping. So I'm going to have my second coffee of the day in the garden. I'm going to start my day by planning my day. I'm actually reading this brilliant book. Kind of, it's not really a book. It's only maybe like 10 pages long. And then the rest of it are actions. So this book's called The Time Block Planner by Cal Newport. It allows you to get so much more done in less time as well. So it's it's kind of like a an action book. So you it, it changes the way you actually work and how you plan your day. And then also your mindset towards your work. And it's really working for me. It's, it's doing, it's yeah, it's doing really good. So if you need help, yeah, I guess you don't even need to be entrepreneurial. The, the, the guy that wrote it, he was studying a, a high intensity degree. He was a dad of three kids and he ran his own business. All, all of those three things. And he managed to do all of those three things at the same time and never pa work past 6 p.m. in the evening. So yeah, you don't. it's not necessarily a book for entrepreneurs. It's, it's also a book for people that are just looking to, to plan their day better. It is more focused towards your professional working schedule and not how you plan your weekends or your life, but it can be implemented the same way. Another thing that I've been working on or I've been putting, I've, I've kind of taken a bit of interest to is NFTs. So if you don't know what NFTs are, they're non-fungible tokens. I've purchased two NFTs already, two projects that I have been looking into I and mean, researching and following. I, I bought into the, the NFT project, these two NFT projects because they interested me the most creatively and I'm really loving it. I'm really loving it. I started a few months back investing in a bit of cryptocurrency and I just I didn't really enjoy it. It was not fun. It's just numbers and yeah, it's just like trading on the stock market. I didn't I didn't like it. It was I found it a bit stressful, but this is totally up my street. This is creative, it's visual. If you're interested in NFTs, either message me because I'd love to talk about it or leave a comment below and I'll I'll film a little bit more and show you the the actual NFTs that I've bought. So it's the following day from Operation Fatboy Slim. I woke up this morning and I really, I couldn't lift my arms above my chest. Unfortunately, I'm making the decision to not have my workout in the gym today. Instead, I'm gonna go and do some cardio with Juniper. <laughs> dag vaart een kleine blauwe vis om een rook om een van de regenboogs glinst te schrubben. Is your mom talking Dutch? Is she talking Dutch? Yeah? It is the weekend again. We're loving the weekend vibes in this household today. And Charlotte's friends from university are coming over to visit us today. It's going to be their first time meeting Archie. Archie is super excited about it, aren't you? Aren't you excited? Are you happy and excited for them coming? But yeah, they're almost here. This is our new thing that we do. When we have <laughs> guests coming, we stalk them. We stalk them to see how far they are. And they're almost here. Yes. Oh, he's so gezond He's normal. Surrounded by ladies already, Archie. <laughs> <laughs> but I also see you. Ja, kijk uit, hij trekt je haren echt uit. Ja. Meer dan je had verwacht. Is dat je Auntie ja, Callas? Ja, nee, het is echt moeilijk zeg maar, om boodschappen te doen. Of het is, ja. of, dat is leuk, hè? Looking at the water. Oh, dat is echt leuk. Je likes het. Snap ik. Ja. June. Hello. Lunch for you. Oh my god. Ja, ik. Oh my god. Oh, nee. Oh my god, Charlotte, you look so uncomfortable, I can tell. <laughs> oh, June, you also belong here. Oh, yes, Judy. <laughs> All right, get in there, June. <laughs> get in there. <laughs> get in there. What? She's thinking, huh, I'm not loving you so bad. Cute girl. Oh, it must be Okay, so Char's friends are about to leave, but I need to ask them the all-important question before they go. Yeah. Who do you think Archie looks more like, me or Char? <laughs> Kenny, for sure. Kenny, for sure. Yeah? yeah. 100%. Yes. yes. Like the facial expressions Ooh. of Charlie. Yeah, the facial yeah. expressions and of Char. Yeah. yeah. And there, I can see a little bit of like curls. Like okay. That, maybe. I okay. think he'll be curly. But okay. He has nice. <laughs> Good job, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Good 
Ciao. <laughs> Entering now into the evening. It's eight o'clock. Shar's friends are gone. We've been doing really good with our eating and we've been having HelloFresh. At the weekend, we either cook something a bit nicer. Last weekend we had steak or we can order. That's our, uh, that's our life rules. And um, what did we go for, for dinner tonight? Turkish. <laughs> I ordered a durum, chicken, chicken wrap. Charlotte ordered, Charlotte ordered a lot. And we also ordered something called a shkotel. Shkotel. Food arrived. Oh, it's not the thing on the stick. What else did we get? Oh, nice. Oh, wow, it smells good, though. Good job, boys, man. <laughs> what the f is that? It's like a loaf. <laughs> that's big Need as a bigger fish. What are we doing today, Arch? Are we going to Oma Anka? Yes. So I hang this thing up because he likes to look at things now. It's kind of working for him, although he looks like a little bit shocked. Which one is it? Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit of a house tour of Pete and Lillian's new house. Uh, is it her that's through there? On the painting? Yeah. No, it's actually this one. Fuck <laughs> off! <laughs> this is the ghost. That's not even funny. And it starts off in the night with... So no Yeah, I like that that's style. really good art though. Lillian's son that did this and also a few of the other paintings in the house. Right babes? Yeah, really nice. I, I like especially Yeah, this one's cool. Yum, yum, yum. Belgian fritten. On the, on the, on the, on the, on the. 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 On